Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wacky Wednesday, a weekly series where we explore wacky deck ideas in both standard and modern, and this week we're taking a look at Cheerios in modern. This is a combo deck named after the multitude of zero mana artifacts that you find in a deck, where the mana cost kind of resembles a Cheerio. So the basic game plan of the deck is to try and get either a Pure Steel Paladin or a Sram into play, which are both two mana tutus that let you draw a card whenever you play out an equipment. And then you're basically gonna keep playing equipment cards, drawing into more and more equipment cards, thanks to your two mana tutus drawing you more cards. Then you can finally find a Mox Opal, which you can tap thanks to Metalcraft to make one mana of any color. You're gonna make some blue mana with the Mox Opal, and then you get to cast a Retract, which for one mana returns all artifacts you control back to their owner's hand. So you get to return all your equipment and Mox Opals back to your hand. So you get to replay your equipment cards while increasing your storm count, while drawing more and more cards. And then eventually you get to cast a Grape Shot to finish off your opponent. So that's the basic gist of the deck, now let's quickly go over the various card choices. We've got a total of 22 zero mana equipment, so we've got 4 copies of a Corridor Shield, which gives the equipped creature plus O plus 3 and Vigilance. We've got Bonesaw, which gives the equipped creature plus 1 plus O. We've got Cathar's Shield, which is the same as a Corridor Shield. Then we have Paradise Mantle, which is actually a more relevant equipment, since the equipped creature can tap to add one mana of any color to your mana pool, so that can actually be relevant if your creature doesn't have Summoning Sickness, you can equip it with Paradise Mantle and generate some additional mana. And then we also have Spider Silk Net, which gives the creature plus O plus 2 and Reach, which can also sometimes be relevant. And then of course we have four copies of Mox Opal, the deck wouldn't really work without it, since this lets you generate a lot of extra mana the turn you're going off, and thanks to the new legendary rule, you can simply play a second copy of Mox Opal, sacrifice the old one, and generate an additional mana. Then another very important card in the deck is Retract, which lets us return all artifacts we control back to our hand, which also lets us replay Mox Opals to generate more mana. Then we have four copies of Serum Visions to add a little bit of consistency to the deck, helps us dig for the missing combo pieces. We also have one copy of Swan Song to protect our various combo pieces from removal spells, can also counter some annoying sideboard enchantments like Stony Silence, which prevents your Mox Opal from tapping for mana. Then we have two copies of Noxious Revival, which is an instant that we can cast by simply paying two life, which lets us return a card from our graveyard back on top of our library, and this has a lot of different uses, all the way from putting a fetch land back on top of our deck if we need to hit a second land drop, to returning one of our key creatures if they got killed, to returning our grape shot if it got discarded, or just simply returning a retract back on top of our deck while we're comboing off to ensure that we're not gonna fizzle. So Noxious Revival has a ton of different applications. Then we have our 8 draw engines, we have 4 copies of Strom, which is a 2 mana 2-2. Two -two. It is a legendary creature, so that's a small drawback in that we can't have more than one copy in play at the same time. But it does let us draw a card as soon as we cast an equipment spell, so that means that even if the opponent tries to remove our Strom right away, we at least get to draw one card off of playing our first equipment. And then we have four copies of Pure Steel Paladin, which is typically the preferred two drop, since it's not legendary, so we can have more than one in play at the same time. And also the Metalcraft ability, if we have three or more artifacts, we can attach our equipment to our creatures for free, which is very relevant with a card like Paradise Mantle, since if we can attach this to a creature that doesn't have summoning sickness, we can tap it for mana, and every bit of mana counts here when we're trying to cast cards on the cheap. The only real drawback of Pure Steel Paladin is that it doesn't let us draw cards as soon as we cast the equipment, but they have to enter the battlefield first, so if our opponent kills our Pure Steel Paladin in response to us casting our equipment, we don't get to draw the card. And then we also have one copy of Hercules Recall, which is essentially a fifth copy of Retract, returning all artifacts target player owns back to his or her hand. This does have a little bit more play than Retract, since you can also target your opponent, so you can maybe bounce a Chalice of the Void on zero, which prevents you from resolving your equipment. And against a deck like Lantern Control or Affinity, you can also use this to bounce most of their board back to their hand, buying you a lot of extra time. And last but not least is Grape Shot as our win condition, and it's very easy to generate a very high storm count, thanks to Retract returning all artifacts back to our hand, letting us replay all our zero mana equipment for free, increasing our storm count for Grape Shot. Then quickly going over the mana base, we only have 15 lands, which is pretty low, but we only need 2 lands in play to be able to win the game. 
We have a total of six Vangelands for Windswept Heath and two Flooded Strand. Doesn't really matter which ones as long as they're white. So they can go get our Hallowed Fountain, two copies, our Sacred Foundry, one copy, and our Plains. And then we also have four copies of Seachrome Coast, which will enter the battlefield untapped most of the time. Then quickly going over the sideboard, we have two copies of Burnt and Forge Tender against decks with a Lightning Bolt to protect our two mana creatures. We have three copies of Path to Exile for when we need some removal spells. Three copies of Silence against decks with a lot of removal spells or counter spells. We've got four copies of Leyline of Sanctity against heavy discard decks. Can also bring it in against burn decks. And then three copies of Echoing Truth to bounce any potential hate card the opponent might have after sideboard. So that's the deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, and this hand is pretty bad. We already have our Grape Shot, which we don't want in our opener. Uh, no 2-drop, and only one land. Alright, this is a pretty good 6-card hand. We have two lands, our SRAM, an Equipment, a uh, Retract, and we're basically looking for more Equipment with this hand. Mox Opal would also be decent. Let's lead with a Serum Visions. Draw into a land, find a Quarter's Shield, and Serum Vision. So we could keep both, just so that next turn, instead of running out Strom, we can run out Serum Visions to set up our turn 3, which I don't mind. So let's put the Shield on top, and then the Serum Visions on top, and say go. Since we're pretty unlikely to be able to go off on turn 2 here with only one equipment, and no Mox Opals. Tapped Overgrown Tomb. So no Thoughtseize on turn 1, that's good. So do we want to draw our equipment? I think we do. So let's cast Serum Visions. Draw our equipment, find the Mox Opal on top. Kind of just looking for more equipment at this point. So I actually don't know if we want the Mox Opal. I think we don't. So let's put that on the bottom. And the Windswept Heath as well. And then I'll just play a Tapped Fountain since we don't really want to shuffle. Say go. Grizzly Salvage, that's fine. Opponent revealing Seder Wayfinder, Burial Rites, Lingering Souls. So this looks like some sort of Rites deck, which is not gonna have a ton of disruption for us, which is good. Found a land, which is unfortunate. So we could just play out Strom and start drawing some extra cards. I think that's our best bet. And given that we drew planes, I don't think I want to shuffle since the cards on the bottom are pretty bad. So let's just do it like this. Run out the shield. Grape shot is also not what we wanted. Run out the nuts. Found a Noxious Revival. That's interesting, so... We can retract our two equipment. The Noxious Revival put retract back on top. I think I like that. So let's Noxious Revival the retract. Which basically guarantees us extra draw steps next turn. If they can't answer Shram. And they're just going to keep playing out equipment for now. Draw the retract that we knew about. Find a Cathar Shield, that's good. So that's extra draws with Retract. And now Mox Opal would be our best draw. Instead, another Retract is still fine if they can't answer Sram. Alright, so I think we just have to say go. Hope they don't have an Abrupt Decay or a Fatal Push for Sram. Tap Shambling Vent. And Lingering Souls Flashback. Alright, that's fine. So I'm pretty sure we're able to go off here with double retract. So I think we start by fetching. Get a sacred foundry untapped. Since we put a mox on the bottom at some point, so we kind of want to draw that. Draw into a land. Retracts. And if we find another 2-drop, we can play that before playing out all our equipment. Paradise Mantle could also be nice. 
if we find a paladin since we can equip it for free. All right, there's a Mox Opal, excellent. Another Retract. Uh, we could Serum Visions here as well. I guess that's fine. So let's Serum Visions. I think we want both here. Alright, now we can retract, get everything back, draw some more cards. There's Pure Steel Paladin, let's run that out. And I guess we're already there. Double Mox Opal Grape Shot, we can just win here. So let's run out Opal, float this for red. I guess we could just equip onto the Strom as well to make mana, make a red, and then Grape Shot our opponent for 20 or 21. All right, managed to get there. Onto sideboarding against Abs on right. So they could have some hand disruption, they could have some removal spells, which are all bad things. I don't think we need Echoing Truth, so the only real consideration here is Silence. But I don't think we want that, so I think we just uh, run it back and hope to dodge any discard spells or removal spells the opponent might have. Alright, this hand looks quite good. Only one creature, so pretty vulnerable to a turn 1 Thoughtseize or Inquisition. But we do have Serum Visions that can help us maybe find a second copy. Do also need a second land, but Visions can help us there as well. Opponent already down to 6, so they're looking for interaction. And they kept their 6, so they must have some sort of interaction. Tapped Stirring Wildwood, so it's not going to be a Thought Seize. And we did find another creature, excellent, so all we need now is a second land. So let's get a Fountain. Run out Serum Visions. And Seacrum Coast definitely on top. Do we want a Cathars Shield on top is the question. I don't think we do. So Coast on top. And say go. And we could also Noxious Revival the Windswept Heath back on top as an alternate option of getting a second land. Untapped Godless Shrine. So this strongly indicates Abrupt Decay. So what we could do is run out Strom, play out one equipment, draw a card with Strom right away. And if they abrupt decay, we still get to draw a card, and then next turn we can go with the Paladin, or we can Noxious Revival back Strom. So I think that's the plan here. And I think I'll go with the Paradise Mantle. See if they have a response. And yep, there's the abrupt decay. Alright, that's fine. Still get to draw our extra card. And say go. Think we'll just take our draw step and run out the Paladin, unless our opponent keeps up Abrupt Decay once again. In which case we might want to get Strom back instead of running out the Paladin. Grizzly Salvage, they might still have a Path to Exile up. Opponent reveals a Duress that they can't get here. And looks like they went for the Basic Forest. So we could Noxious Revival Strom if we think our opponent has a Path to Exile in hand. Otherwise we can just go for the Pure Soul Paladin. I think I like getting Strom back here. Even though that does lose a draw step if uh, they don't have the removal spell. So let's go with Strom once again. Run out another equipment. Alright, looks like they don't have the path. So we could wait and then run out Paladin next turn and draw even more cards. Or we could hope to draw into a Mox Opal and a Retract and go off this turn. I'm kind of in favor of going off next turn with the Paladin since if your opponent didn't have a path to exile, the only other interactive spells they could have is another Abrupt Decay. Or perhaps they have a Maelstrom Pulse which they can untap and cast. 
I think we're good just saying go here. And just hope they tap out for a 4-drop. Alright, perfect, Siege Rhino. Don't really care about that. Since they did take the forest, which kind of made me think they had a 4-drop they wanted to play. Alright, get to untap. Run out Pure Steel Paladin. We also get to equip Paradise Mantle here in a second. So we get to make one more mana. And we can equip it for free, thanks to the Paladin. There's our Grape Shot already. So all we need now is maybe a Retract and a Mox Opal. There's our Retract, which we can cast... a land for the turn. Could even run out another Paladin if we wanted to, to draw three cards with every equipment. If we miss on a Mox Opal, that could be bad. So I think we're better off still playing out our equipment here. And then as soon as we find a Mox Opal, we can run out uh, other Paladin. Let's keep it going. All right, there's our Mox Opal. So now we can make a white, make a white, run out Pure Steel Paladin. And now play this, draw three. There's our Mox Opal, so we can retract. And all we need now is a second Mox Opal, I guess, so we can Grape Shot. Do need to be careful here that we don't deck ourselves before finding another Mox Opal. Don't have any equipment left, so we need to retract. Run out the shield. And there's our Mox Opal. So let's run out Mox Opal. Run out another equipment. Float this for red. Run out Opal. Keep the new one. Lotus for red. And find our grape shot. Alright, we got there. So Mox Opals were hiding at the bottom. Otherwise we would have had to uh, not draw cards with Pure Steel Paladin to go through the deck one by one with Sram. So we could have ensured not to deck ourselves and find the required Mox Opals. Alright, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play. And this hand has three of our creatures, which is a bit much, but two equipment and two lands is almost ideal. So yeah, we'll keep. And then maybe we'll wait until turn three so we have two creatures in play to go off. So tapped Fountain Go. And we'll lead with Strom, I guess, since that's the one we have double. That's legendary, so if they kill this one, we're not too sad. Opponent also with Seachrom Coast into Simeon Spirit Guide, into Pantad Prism. Interesting, so this could be an Ad Nauseam deck, which is a little scary. I think we'll fetch here for either Plains or Sacred Foundry. If we're up against Ad Nauseam or Life Total doesn't matter a ton, so I guess we just get the Sacred Foundry, run out Sram, and then still wait until next turn. Our opponent is not going to have any removal spells for Sram. However, the opponent does have cards like Angel's Grace. Opponent exiles a Lotus Bloom. So they just drew that for the turn. Three mana. Opponent with Phyrexian Unlife. Luckily, our uh, Grape Shot can win through the Phyrexian Unlife since they'll deal damage one by one. So once the opponent reaches zero life, the remaining Storm copies are gonna deal infect damage. Retract is an awesome draw. So let's run out the Paladin and start drawing some extra cards. 
Now if our opponent has an Angel's Grace as their last card, I guess then uh, we would not be able to go off this turn. And Noxus Revival is an interesting one as well, since that can return or retract. For now we'll just keep drawing some more cards. Mox Opal is excellent. Alright, so we're kind of doing it, so yeah, let's run out Bonesaw. As soon as we find another Pure Steel Paladin, we can consider running him out. Run out Cathar's Shield. And Swansong is a nice bit of protection here against any potential instance from the opponent, although Angel's Grace we can't counter because of Split Second. But it does counter an Ad Nauseam. Alright. So all we need now is to find Grape Shot. Alright, so we did find a Paladin, so we can equip Paradise Mantle onto Sram. Tap this for white. Run out uh, Opal just in case. Run out the Paladin. And now we get to draw even more cards. So now it's time to retract. And I think we Noxious Revival the Retract back on top. Since we didn't have a second copy yet. So now we just need to make sure we find Grape Shot before we deck ourselves. Can always decide not to draw with Pure Steel Paladin, but Sram is a must. All right, there's our grape shot. So let's run out Mox Opal. Tap this for red, run out another Mox Opal, keep the new one. I guess since our opponent has Frexen on life, we actually need to storm off a little bit more. So let's run out Spider Silk Nuts. And this time we will not draw with the Pure Silk Paladins. Alright, this should do it. So now we can grape shot our opponents. Tap this for red. And hope they don't have Angel's Grace. So our opponent's life total keeps dropping, then they'll reach zero. At which point our grape shots should be dealing infect damage. And there we go. Awesome. On to sideboarding against Ad Nauseam. So this seems like a matchup where we would want some of our sideboard cards. So Burnt on Forge Thunder could stop Lightning Storm, same with a Ley Line of Sanctity. But our opponent's gonna have Echoing Truth after sideboard anyway, so I don't think that's reliable. Uh, could bring in our own Echoing Truth to bounce Problematic Permanence, like Ley Line of Sanctity from the opponent, and I think we have to bring in at least one or two copies. And Silence could also be okay. 
So I think we can shave a Cathar's shield and then maybe the Hercules recall and try this configuration. And we can always use Echoing Truth on our own equipment to bounce them and replay them. So it's not like Echoing Truth is only a way to bounce hate cards. So I'm not sure about Silence in this matchup. Silence could be okay in this matchup as we can cast it in response to Lotus Bloom coming off of Suspend and perhaps a turn our opponent tries to go off with Ad Nauseum, we could cast a Silence to mess with our opponent. But given that I'm not entirely sure, I'm not gonna bring it in. This hand seems pretty good, so we'll keep. We've got Paladin plus Revival to potentially get it back. Serum Visions from our opponents. So this is definitely a deck where you don't want to oversideboard, which is also why I didn't bring in the Silence, but I could see Silence being good here. All right, let's run out Tapped Fountain. Say go. Opponent did not have the Lotus Bloom on turn one, so they're not going to be able to go off super fast. All right, I think it's time to run out the Paladin. See if our opponent has any response. And yeah, let's start casting some equipment. All right, Serum Visions. I think we want to keep our last Paradise Mantle in hand, given that we don't have a Retract or a Mox Opal. And then maybe we can save it until we find a second creature to equip onto. And I guess second main, we should equip everything we have onto the Paladin, just in case. Say go. So all we need now is an assault formation to kill our opponent in one hit. Slide of hand from the opponents, gemstone mine down to one counter, and the Temple of Enlightenment. So our opponent's draw doesn't seem particularly great. They didn't have a Pantat Prism yet, no Fraxian Unlife, but they do have six cards in hand, so they might have a reactive draw to potentially counter some parts of our combo. Well, there's another Pure Seal Paladin, that's excellent, so. What do we want to do with this fetch land? I don't think it's gonna matter that this comes into play tapped and the thinning effect I think is more relevant. So let's get a planes. Run out another paladin. Run out serum visions. And yeah, we want to keep these equipment on top. Run out paradise mantle. Equip here, run out the nuts. Basically looking for Mox Opal, there we go, and Retract. Strom, so we found a Retract. So I think we're good here. Opponent with one mana could have an Angel's Grace, so that's the card we need to keep in mind. Let's run out Mox Opal. So Angel's Grace prevents us from combing off this turn. But it could put the opponent to 1, at which point we can kill them next turn with Noxus Revival. So I think we kind of want to go for it here. So let's tap this for blue. Tap this for blue. Retract. And then we can Noxus Revival the Retract, or we can first play some more equipment. Which I think is fine. All right, we found another Retract, so no need to Noxious Revival for it. So now we just need to find our uh, Grape Shot. There's another Mox Opal, so yeah, all we need now is Grape Shot. 
another echoing truth. Did not mean to cast that Serum Visions, but that's fine. Put these on the bottom. Swan Song is also a nice pickup, although it does not counter Angel's Grace. Alright, there's our Grape Shot, so let's make some red mana. Let's run out another Mox Opal. Make another red mana. I think we can Noxious Revival for Mox Opal here. Just to keep up Swan Song in case our opponent has a random fog effect that I don't know about. So let's run out an equipment. Run out another Mox Opal. Keep the new one. And then Grape Shoulder Opponents. Which is probably gonna have the Angel's Grace. But then we should be able to put them to one. And then we have one Noxious Revival left to get our Grape Shot back, which does have to resolve, otherwise we have to resort to combat damage. And there's the Angel's Grace. So our opponent's life total will go to one. All right, so do we want to do anything? I don't think so, just equip all the equipment we have. And I don't think there's a way for us to keep up our uh, Echoing Truth, so we're just gonna keep up Swan Song and say go, and then discard a bunch of lands. So let's see if the opponent can do something here. Lotus Bloom enters Exile Zone, but that's not too relevant right now. Opponent with five cards in hand, so they might have some more Angel's Graces, and our opponent concedes, so they were unable to win the game this turn, and they couldn't prevent us from winning on the following turn. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play. And let's take a look at our opener. Looks pretty good. Don't like seeing Grape Shot in our opener, but the other six cards are all quite good. Um, guess we could use an additional equipment or two, but we do have a Serum Visions to help us out. So we're looking for a second land and for more equipment, essentially. So let's get Hallowed Fountain. Serum Visions. Kind of want to keep the Accorder's Shield, but do want to hit our second land drop, so we'll have to put the Windswept Teeth on top. So might as well bottom the shield. But we did pick up a Bone Saw for the turn, which is nice. Watery Grave from the opponents. Hopefully no Thought Seize. Well, there's a Thought Seize. So that's likely going to take one of our two creatures. And if they have a removal spell for the other one, we're kind of in trouble. So there goes Sram. So I think our best bet is to try and get as many equipment in play as possible. Uh, and I think I get a Sacred Foundry here since we might end up hard casting the Grape Shot just to finish off our opponent if they're on Death Shadow. So run out the Paladin. And just try to get as many equipment in play as possible so that the Retract can possibly do something later. Planes is not ideal. Alright. Let's try to keep hitting equipment. Perfect. And a Hercules Recall, so we have some redundancy here if our opponent can't kill the Paladin. Put all equipment onto the Paladin. And hope that the opponent doesn't have a Fatal Push. Say go. There's a basic island, interesting, so might not be Death Shadow after all. Another Thought Seize is gonna take the Retract, leaving us with Hercules Recall and Grape Shot. If they try to take Grape Shot, we can just combo off and use our Noxious Revival to put the Grape Shot back on top, so that's not an issue. So they can't have a ton of interaction left, instead they just Serum Visions. So we might just be able to go off on this next turn, if for uh, Draw steps are kind to us. See Chrome Coast to draw. So for now, I think I'm just gonna see Chrome Coast it up and then Hercules Recall ourselves. Keep up blue mana for future attracts. And then replay a bunch of equipment. Alright, Mox Opal is a nice one. 
So just looking for more retracts. SRAM is a nice one as well. So we can run out SRAM right now if we want to. So let's run out Mox Opal. We have Metalcraft, so let's tap this to run out SRAM. Start drawing two cards per equipment. Another Mox Opal is good. Swan Song could be decent as well. And a Serum Vision, so we can equip this onto Pure Steel Paladin. Tap this for blue, so we can Serum Visions. Try to keep the train rolling. I uh, don't think we want the other Mox Opal. So we'll bottom those. And I think we want to run out Mox Opal just to keep up Swan Song. It's a shame that we have to end at 9 storm count, but uh, let's just equip for now. And say go. So if we can find a retract now, I think we're good. Opponent's thought seizes us. We could just let that resolve. They likely take the swan song, since if we swan song that, then they get a 2-2. And they don't lose a 2 life. If they take Grape Shots, I'm not too concerned. And now we still get to keep up Swan Song for any future cards. And an Opt, that's fine. So still not sure if our opponents on Death Shadow, they most likely are. But uh, they're pretty light on Fetch Lands and they missed their third land. Another Serum Visions is a nice one. Let's cast that. Noxious Revival Serum Visions, so Noxious Revival can return our Grape Shots, which is okay. I think we bottomed the Noxious Revival and topped the Serum Visions. And then we just attack for 5, run out another Pure Steel Paladin. That seems okay. This might grow the opponent's Death Shadows if they have any, but that's still fine. So let's run out Pure Steel Paladin. And I guess move some equipment around. This looks okay. And another basic island, so probably not a Death Shadow deck if they have two basic islands, so more likely a blue black control deck of some sort. Delver of Secrets, alright, so Delver deck. Another Delver. Well, they're just 1 1s for now. And let's start by running out Serum Visions. All right, there's our retract that we want. Keep both on top and play out Cathar Shield. Paradise Mantle. And now we just need to find one of our Noxious Revivals, one's on the bottom of our library. But I guess we can shuffle with Windswept Heath, get our last Hallowed Fountain. Equip this onto the Paladin. And let's see, I guess I guess we don't have to tap our creatures for mana yet. Let's just retract using the Mox Opal, get all our equipment back, and our opponent scoops it up. All right, so up against a blue-black Delver deck, so they'll have access to some counter spells. We already saw a whole bunch of Thought Seizes. Path Exile can exile some potential Tassigers, but I don't think we need them. I think here it's between Silence and Leyline if we want to bring anything in. Leyline is appealing, but I don't know if we want all four copies, which is a bit much. Same with Silence. Don't mind shaving a Bone Saw. Maybe we can afford to shave a Hercules Recall. And maybe go down on an additional equipment. And then bring in three Leylines. Seems kind of loose to not bring in four. Maybe we can cut a Serum Visions as well to bring in all four. This might be a bit much, and it could be that we would rather want Silence in this matchup, but we don't know how many counterspells our opponent has. I think I'll try to lay lines over the Silence for now, since we did see a whole bunch of Thought Seizes, but we didn't see any counterspells yet. Although I assume our opponent will have some of those, and we can also expect Fatal Push to make an appearance. Alright, a hand with double ley line. The rest of our hand is not great though, so I could see Mulliganing still. Don't have a 2 mana creature, which is the problem with this hand. Although I do like double equipment and retract. So how likely are we to find a 2 mana creature sooner rather than later? 
not super likely with this hand, so I think I'm mulliganing to 6 here, despite the ley line in our opener. This hand's not great either, still don't have a 2 mana creature, don't have any lands, so I think we need to go lower. Alright, I guess we're keeping this. And Strom can stay on top. Let's lead with the ley line. And now hope our opponent has a bunch of thought seizes and not a bunch of fatal pushes. Opponent just says go. Let's run out Serum Visions. Try to hit our second land drop, maybe find another creature to go with Sram. Alright, another Serum Visions I think we can keep on top here. And bottom the land. Jay's for his prodigy, all right. So we do actually have a window to play out Strom, maybe draw some cards, but with only one equipment, I don't think that's worth it. And given that it's Strom and not pure Steel Paladin, we still get to draw one card anyways, even if they do have the Fatal Push. So I think I want to fetch here. Could get a tap land, since it's pretty unlikely that we draw into another Serum Visions here. I think we go with the Sacred Foundry and then Serum Visions. Alright, Mantle is okay, Mox Opal seems pretty good as well. So let's top the Opal and put the Mantle on top of that. And hope our opponent taps out once again, so we get to draw some cards with Sram. I could see an argument for bottoming the Mox Opal, given that we don't really need the extra mana at this point. Untapped Blood Crypts and our opponent with Intruder Alarm. Interesting, so our opponent's got a spicy brew going on, so our creatures don't untap, and when a creature enters the battlefield they get to untap their creatures, so this could be part of some sort of combo. Well, our opponent is tapped out. Uh, they do get to untap Jace once we run out Strom, but that's fine. So let's run out the shield. Run out Mox Opal, and I think we just retract right now. Try to get some more equipment going. Well, that's one of the drawbacks of boarding in Leyline. So, I guess we're just stuck re-equipping and saying go. Opponent loots with Jace once again. Untapped Watery Grave. And we do see an Inquisition of Kozilek discarded, so Leyline at least did something. Delver of Secrets to untap Jace. Well, they're letting us untap. So they might not have the Fatal Push after all. Run out the net. Looking for another retract. Instead, we find uh, another ley line, which one of these could have been a Hercules recall. Yeah, perhaps overboarded, despite only boarding in four cards. Don't really see a reason to run out another ley line. So let's just equip onto Strom. And I guess we attack for two. And say go. Opponent discards a Snapcaster Mage. Let's see if Delver transforms. Next turn we can equip the Nut onto Sram so that it can block the transform Delver. Instead it just stays as a 1-1. Elemental Mastery. Alright, so that's a way for them to untap Chase, I guess. Oh, I see. They can just go infinite with Intruder Alarm. Alright, good beats. I guess we're dead. So that's the combo, Elemental Mastery plus Intruder Alarm. They get to make a token, untap whatever creature's enchanted. And then uh, go wide. Alright, we're not gonna let our opponent go through this. So let's move on to game 3. Let's see, do we want to reconsider these ley lines? If your opponent's trying to combo themselves, perhaps we don't want the ley line. 
uh, Swan Song does counter the enchantment, so I think I still want the Swan Song. I guess Path to Exile does stop the opponent's combo, so it does have some merit. But again, I don't want to overboard, and I think I'm just going to get rid of these Ley Lines. Bring our equipment back in, Serum Visions, Hercules. So now the question is, do we want to bring in Path or not? I don't think we need to bring in Path. Feels like if we can combo, we're a bit faster than the opponent. And I think we just want to maximize on that fact rather than try to interact with the opponent. I would like to play first. And this hand is missing a second land. Other than that, it's pretty good. So this is one of those difficult decisions, since if we do miss on a second land drop, we're basically not doing anything. I think we need to keep this. Just because it does have the redundancy of having two pure steels, so if they have a, an Inquisition or a Thoughtseize, it's not game over. And even just drawing a Serum Visions would be okay. And of course we do have a bunch of lands in the deck. Swamp, so this could be a Thoughtseize or Inquisition. Yep. Alright. They do take the pure steel. Can we find a land? We cannot, but Serum Visions is not too bad. And yep, let's put the Cathar Shield on the bottom in case they thought sees away our other Paladin. And keep the Heath on top. Say go. And hope they don't have a second Thought Caesar Inquisition. I guess Fatal Push would also be annoying. And they might have that instead here. So a difficult choice here, whether or not to run out the Pure Steel Paladin. Don't think there's a ton of reasons to wait. Given that we only have the Swan Song. So I think we just go for it and see if our opponent has the Fatal Push or perhaps a Mana Leak. And I think here we'll get the Sacred Foundry given that we have a Grape Shot in hand. Might end up Grape Shotting a Delver. Let's see if this resolves. It does, but they could still push in response. And yep, there's a push. So because this isn't a SRAM, we don't get to draw the card here. So now we have to wait on the second creature. Opponent with an opt as well. On the bright side, our opponent might not have a ton going on to pressure us, given that they had both push and thoughtsies. Another thoughtsies probably takes a retract. So yeah, perhaps we should have kept in those ley lines after all, but that's hard to say. So it's gonna take a while for us to be able to combo off, but hopefully if that's the case for the opponent as well. I think I will play out the land and then say go. At least we don't have any dead draws in Leyline of Sanctity in the deck. So yeah, these disruption-heavy decks with Fatal Push and Thoughtsies are by far the worst matchup for this deck. So it's unsurprising that uh, we're struggling a bit. Serum Visions is a nice one. Opponent hasn't presented any counter spells yet, so... Don't think we need to take those too much into account. Put both equipment on the bottom, since we just need to find a creature. on just saying go, and there's Stram, which is the better of the creatures, since we get to draw the card right away. And Mana Leak, alright, so they did have a counter spell after all. Cannot pay for it. So now we need to find another one. Already three gone, so only five left in the deck, but Noxious Revival also kind of counts. Opponent with three cards in hand, not doing much. So we did draw the Pure Steel Paladin. I think we run it out. See if our opponent has another mana leak. They do not. So now we have to decide whether or not we want to run out one of our equipment. I think we just pass a turn here. Which is only bad if our opponent draws into a removal spell for the turn. But otherwise we can start equipping our pure steel paladin. And then maybe pressuring our opponent with our creature. Without having to commit additional equipment. Opponent plays a fetch, says go. Alright, there's a Strom. So now we can kind of overload our opponent. So let's see if they have a response to Strom. Run out Paradise Mantle. Find another Strom. Draw a card with Pure Steel. So I'm assuming they don't have any interaction here. Run out Bone Saw. Alright, so we're kind of doing it. Let's equip onto. Pure Steel, and then use this to cast Serum Visions. 
Noxious Revival. Don't think we need Flooded Strand, but I'll take the Cathar Shield. And I think we want a Noxious Revival to retract here. All right. So now we're kind of going off. Mox Opal is exactly what we were looking for. And another Noxious Revival is good for when we retract. But might not even need it. Haven't played a land yet, so let's run out uh, Heath. Get a Plains. Swan Song is a nice pickup. Let's run out to Mox Opal. Alright, we got the GG's from our opponents, so they scoop it up. And yeah, we were just able to Grape Shot here with Swan Song backup, or we could have retracted first just to increase our board presence and the cards in hand. But uh, yeah, managed to beat Grixis Intruder Alarm. Cool deck from our opponent. Might have to try something similar in the future. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for supporting the channel, and you can do so yourself as well over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd, where you get cool rewards for supporting the channel, as well as getting us closer to our goals, where with every goal reached, we will release an additional weekly series, so if you want to see more content, Patreon is the place to go.